It's good morning. It's December 15th, Monday morning. Just returned this weekend from a retreat, a time of vacation and contemplation in the Virgin Islands with my wife Pam. It was quite a trip, some incredible memories, and some trauma as well. My blog and meditation this week speaks of what happened when we arrived in the island. Some of you may know that the island of St. John and all of the British and American Virgin Islands are left side drive, the left lane, even though the cars have American left hand driving, steering wheels. The islands are mountainous. We were making our way from the St. Thomas Airport through Charlotte Amalie to Red Hook where the barges take cars over to St. John where we were renting a cottage up in the mountain. As we made our way trying to stay in the left lane we made our way all the way to the other end of the island where we would find the barge and we missed the barge turn off and as we made our way over a high hill, staying in the left lane, there were donkeys in the road and goats feeding along the side, and it was kind of a wild place. It seemed that the idea of staying in your left lane, the double yellow line, was kind of optional as we learned. But we made our way down, and I found a place to turn around finally and headed back up the hill dodging a car as I went and back up the hill from to where the barges were and getting my way slowly out of the right lane into the left lane and as I crested the hill there was a collision. Bang! Crash! The sound of screeching steel and plastic and rubber, steam and smoke. The airbags burst I couldn't see, and then I could see, dazed. I sat staring ahead through the steam, the acrid smell of powder from the explosion of the airbag. I was okay. I looked at Pam. She was dazed. She said she was okay. I got out of the car through the steam and through the smoke. As I looked ahead there was a car directly in front of us in which we'd collided. All I could see was the license plate, Psalm 21, which reads, it starts, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Yes, I knew that God had saved us in this collision. We were alive. I walked over to the open window of the car. A lady, dazed, stared at me. And I asked her if she was okay. She said, I think so, kind of in the patois of the native languages. She was in her seat belt and her airbag had gone off as well. There were no visible signs of injury. She couldn't move, she said, very well, and just wanted to wait. I called 911 and shortly, quite quickly, police showed up in an ambulance within a few minutes. It seemed surrealistic. The jungle on one side and rocky slope, the azure blue, turquoise, Caribbean in the bay below, light waves lapping against the white sands. It was a strange, surreal environment. The police took reports. The ambulance came and loaded the lady out with a neck brace and a board taking her to nearby hospital. We left the car there as a tow truck took it we got a ride. 
with the tow truck back to the barges and took the took the barge with our luggage over to St. John. Pam was bruised, had trouble breathing. As we look at it, looking back and thinking as we look at our bruises and small cuts that we had, we realize that God is faithful and had taken us through this. We were alive and given thanks. The rest of our time in the island was idyllic, except for the driving. From one end to another, we found a beautiful bay, Salt Bay, on St. John, and the warm waters were like physical therapy to us. They flowed over us, and as we slowly loosened up again, we could feel the warmth of God and the beauty of his creation around us, the island mountains and subtropical jungles. Yes, God is good. And this is a message that God is always with us. He will never leave us. Emmanuel, God with us. This is the message of Christmas. He came to live with us and show us the way, and then even to die and redeem us so that we may live as we trust in him, with him eternally. Hallelujah to the Lamb who was slain for us, that we may celebrate his life today and this Christmas season. Amen.